Hello everybody and welcome to the 15th C tutorial and today we'll be looking at a little library that you can get as an extension to C called Ncursors. Now what is Ncursors? Ncursors is a library where you can display characters to the screen in a rather interesting way. For example you can use colours with that up to 16 colours or 256 on certain versions not sure where you can find them but you can you can do things like extra windows labels things like that like if you've ever played things like rogue if you've ever played say nethack or anything like that program with that library so if you're interested in that do that i think i shall make this one a skippable one because i think i might do a few library introductions dependent on where you are in the tutorial in that you'll need to know certain things so you can do them I should really put this one later but I thought that I might as well introduce the um, idea that I will be introducing various libraries throughout the tutorial if everybody likes that so let's get started one thing you may notice is that the is actually in 720p this time now that's because I have increased the size of the window because I was originally booting it from a regular just bash not bash script what am I thinking I've been on Linux too long a um, bat script you know whereas now I'm just running it directly from the desktop thing but the only disadvantage of that is I can't use the clear function for some reason someone might be able to help me with that but I've done enough stalling let's get started so what we do here is that we can keep this if we want we can we don't strictly need it though I will replace it with ncursors.h now I'd best not capitalize that what this is is if you li I think I talked about this earlier if not I'll reiterate it now so what a header file is is a file that links to certain object files or not object files like like if you've ever seen a DLL it's like that but it's different on Linux I think it's SO or whatever it is but so how it works here is that that will import all of the function prototypes that we can ever employ so like stdio contains printf and scanf and ncursors includes a majority of the ncursors stuff there's also other ones as well but you can read into the tutorial for that yeah so that's what this is going to be it's going to basically give you the hello world of it and you can go and find out the rest of the information on your own though as i said on my site on the actual like banner i will probably do a tutorial at some point but to be honest i'd like to I'd like to do things one at a time, so I'm going to do the C tutorial, then I'm going to do the x86 assembly tutorial, and then, if you're lucky, I might do a PD cursor tutorial, which is essentially just the Windows version of this. So let's get started for once, because I've been doing enough stalling. And first of all, what we call is something called init screen. Init screen. So what this does is it creates an area in memory which we use on screen, so if we want to write a character to it, we can place it up here in our screen wherever and what this does is it, as I say it frees up the memory to do that and then what we can do is do print w and what this does is it prints it to the the top right hand left hand corner even as it does a regular print f but it works differently as it uses a different buffer it uses um the window we just initialized instead of stdr der er you can read into that online and then what we do here is refresh and what this does is it essentially rewrites our buffer that we freed up here and writes it directly to the screen and so we see this and that's how that works and then we do get char now if I'll type a bracket set for zero, what this does is it basically allows the program to stop until the user takes input. So if you type anything on your keyboard, it will skip this ahead. Then we go end win. And what this does here is that it will deallocate the memory from this and deinitialize all of cursors. So that's basically our hello world program, but I'm going to show you one more thing before we go in and no it isn't the colours, I'd love to do the colours but the colours is somewhat complex and I'd have to get into a lot more of it I will definitely cover it if I do a a 
proper dedicated PD cursor tutorial. So what we can do here is what we do is this allows us to place a character on screen wherever the f wherever the hell we want. I almost said the F word there, I don't know why. But this is quite interesting. It specifies where we want it to be placed, but what you've got to bear in mind is this isn't X and Y, it's in fact Y and X, which often trips people up. So you've got to remember our screen is 80 by 25 in the console. So you place it on the 80 by 25 area. So there's 85, 80 like columns and 25 rows. So we're going to do, say, 40 and then 10. And then we're going to output our char, which I mean at. And what this will do is it will simply output a char. So thank you for watching, everybody. I will be compiling next time because it takes a bit more explanation because it's not just you straight up compile it. You have to do the thing called linking and I'd prefer to do it in a separate tutorial which I recommend you do definitely watch if you're doing the C tutorial. If this was just this is just sort of a meandering point, but I think if you want to do anything important in C you'll need to do in some linking. Unless you're deciding and doing everything without libraries, which is insane unless you're on an operating system. Or you're just well insane. So Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you later.